What's up everybody, professional wrestler Chris Wilde here for another unboxing video with my assistant today. Faith, aka the biggest um, kids eagle fan. Alright, so I have a couple new things to unbox. Obviously we did an unboxing video uh, about a couple months ago yeah. um, with some of the Super Bowl memorabilia that I have. We're going to try again today with some uh, McFarlane toys, or as I like to call them, action figures mm -hmm. that are eagles related. Um, so the first one that we want to start off with is going to be an oldie but a goodie. It is um, Brian Westbrook. Um, here's some of the knowledge I know. He is an old Eagles player, and he was the Eagles running back. All right, so um, I'm going to try to bring this up here. This is a Brian Westbrook uh, McFarland Toys um, figure. This came out in 2007. Um, in the set was Tony Romo, Ray Lewis, Peyton Manning, Vince Young. And uh, Cedric Benson from the Bears. Now, as you can see, this packaging is something that I've always hated as a kid, and I hate even more as an adult. Um, nothing but plastic, and I mean, without something sharp, it is really hard to open. So I don't want to ruin anything inside of the box. So instead of a scissor, I got this really sharp knife. So and kids, even I hate that. I yeah. hate that packaging. So kids. Please do not try this at yes, home. Yes, do not try it. Without an adult, if you get your hand on one of these things. Um, I mean, I just, I never understood the concept of this packaging. Um, well, I mean, and, it, I could maybe say, like, it is kind of, like, a lot of money and maybe no one wants to break into it. Um, should we say the price? Well, these retail for $30. I was able to get this for ten dollars um, a, a third party seller came uh had a bunch of these come into his possession and that's how i got this it's so hard to open without damaging i mean i am struggling like with just imagine like especially on christmas you get so much toys and i have to ask him to do it and he doesn't even like it yeah all right so we Got it open here. Uh, this, it first, let's talk about the. Here, you hold that. So, inside, it's got a little background. Number 36, Brian Westbrook's number. Um, Westbrook is actually probably my favorite Eagles running back. Uh, out of Villanova, nobody thought he was going to do much. Um, became one of the most elusive running backs that the Eagles have ever had. Um, and that's no disrespect to Shady McCoy. And then if you open the inside, it has some of the other, these guys aren't in the set, but these are some of their more popular ones. Again, this was 07. Um, it has a really cool uh, Reggie White um, two-pack, one where he was with the Packers and one where he was with the Eagles. Really cool. And on the back, it so. kind of shows the collection again and some information. We're right. not going to read that. Cause it's gonna so, let's go ahead and take this out. Back. Now, with most of these, and look, I'm still, it's still like, there's still stuff in here. I mean... Tape. This is crazy. It looks like the bottom of a leg. Insane. Can I um, review that? So that is that's basically a part of the field. It's yeah, it, it's very detailed. I mean, it, is that the number one on it? Or no, that's actually that's a hash mark. Okay, so um, it's a hash mark, and it is very detailed. I'm gonna try and show you. Like, look at the little grass details. It has where he will stand, so that's why there's a foot. Definitely, line. definitely, uh, that part of it looks very detailed. And then he is still caught in here with some kind of band. I mean, this so is insane. So, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. This toy, or action figure, as I would like to call it, looks like, let's say you were watching TV, and you paused it, and then the 3D image popped out. It is very deep. Great detail on this. You want to... Talk yes. about the... So this has a great amount of detail. Um, Brian is actually holding the football, and he has... Is that one of his tattoos? It's actually yeah. very detailed. He even has his tattoo, and he has his number 36 on the back, and it says Westbrook. The helmet is very detailed. He is in his, like, running position, and he has his, like... Sweat towel, I'm going to call that. And then he even has, like, the grass smears. And it has the um, pant details. 
And um, the only thing I would say is there are little paint defects, but you can barely see it with the amount of detail. And it goes on, you know, I'm not sure it, how to put it on. You would put it in here. Oh, see, look at this, this thing. Okay, this comes off, I had a little plastic protector okay. on there, so. It actually looks very awesome. Like, it, it looks like, if you pause the TV, it just looks like the 3D image popped out. Yeah, and I'm having a horribly tough time getting it in. Okay. Um, so there you go. It is um, awesome. Now, again, like, we're moving this around a lot in the camera. I'll put up some still images to kind of show better about this. I do have one major issue with this figure, um, but it's also another issue that I have with the other figure we're going to show you, so I'll just get that out of the way when we do that. However, you look, gloves, really detailed there. Uh, as much even with the NFL logo on them. Ball, uh, this ball does not come off, so. But yeah, there you go. That's I'm gonna one. say one more thing about it. <laughs> um, it is like a kind of hard plastic. It might break if you drop it a few oh, times. Yeah, it will especially, break. especially if you have right. like kids in the house like me. It will definitely break okay. if you drop it at least two times. So now we have a more recent, this was just released <laughs> this year. Um, so Madden uh, bought into McFarland, so now, which made the price go up on the figures. Again, this probably retails for $24.99 at Walmart, $30 anywhere else. Um, this is a Zach Ertz McFarland figure, uh, Super Bowl champion Zach Ertz. I'm actually wearing his jersey today. Um, very be better packaging. Obviously. Uh, they figured out that, that that packaging absolutely sucks. Um, it's a little bit easier to get into. Also, inside this box has a uh, Madden Ultimate Team Series code. Um, and on the back? It on the back. Yeah, we'll talk about the back of the box. So the back of the box has the current set of guys. Um, Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell, Deshaun Watson, Tom Brady, Gronkowski, Barkley, and... Jason Witten, so... I don't think that box has information about it like we had on the back of this Well, box. we... I think it does, but hold on. It might have right. it inside. So, we're going to open this. And this is Series 2 of... They have a, a Series 1 of these figures. That I actually have the Carson Wentz uh, one from that. Right there. But, let's see. This one right a little bit easier to open. Um, obviously, I'm take this out. Well, now, a lot of people too. don't like opening up these kind of figures um, because obviously this isn't something that you're going to play with. Mm -hmm. It's more for display. But uh, big, big shout out to um, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins from the uh, Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Uh, they have a term, it's called Let Them Breathe. And that's what I like to do with all my collectibles because I'm never going to try to sell these for, to anybody. They're going to always be in my collection and use for display. So I want to let these guys breathe instead of suffocating them in this something? box. As, go ahead, sweetheart. Okay, so um, as you can see, this one has the grass too. I'm going to say it's a little less detailed. You well, you don't know because it's not out yet. So let's take it out. So this box, cool little... Um, Eagles logo there. You can take that out, and I like to wrap it around the actual figure, like I did on the As lens you can see, room. We have. I believe that inside here you're gonna have your Madden code. So, um, yeah, that's exactly what that is. Right. You put that over there, so okay. All right. Zach is tied in. Now this tie is a little bit hard. You might want to keep them entertained while I get them out of here. Okay. So, um, yeah, these Eagles figures are really cool. I think that they're very detailed. And as you can see on the Carson Wentz one, this one actually moves its arm. So I wonder if that one will move its arm. Do you guys think? Um, the Carson Wentz one is very easy. Too. And as you can see, the little like cardboard cutout you always put on the front right there. Oh, I'm losing my mind trying to get him out of here. <laughs> so I wonder if it will be the same thing, but as you can see, Carson Wentz, the football comes out. So let's see. Alright, so this one, we got the grass uh, 
platform for him to stand on, not as detailed as the one from Definitely Savage. not as detailed. Like, yeah. look at the comparing them. Yeah. It so. looks like they weren't taking their time as the one. Right. Because they did it this year, and even this, like, like, I don't know. And especially where, like, see the hole where you put his foot in? That one yeah. looks, like, more unsturdy as yeah. that one. It, okay. It looks so. like it's going to fall out. Right out the gate, I'm noticing that, and unless I'm missing something, okay. So his actual foot doesn't, his actual foot doesn't go in here. The football goes in here, right? No, I, I don't, there's no, so this, I, I don't, I'm not sure what this is for. This, it, no, it doesn't even look like he goes on there. So the ball goes in his hands, we are. What happens to the? The ball goes right. Here. Yeah, Carson Wentz, he didn't do anything with it. Oh, the little platform on the football? You take that off and you stick it in no, here. No, the platform of the football in. goes here. So hmm. it'll look like that. Um, the deco on the actual figure, uh, very good, very detailed. Um, the green on the helmet kind of doesn't match the green on hmm. the jersey. So Can I say something there's about that. It? Uh, actually, go ahead. Okay, so just like my dad was saying, I'm not sure, like, this paint is kind of flaky. Um, I mean, I kind of do like that it had the Nike sign. Like, look at that. That's, oh, yeah. That's uh, really Nike good detail. Does, yeah. they, and the socks, I wonder if they actually have that. No, the socks do not. Yeah. It even has the little NFL thing, as you can see. Okay, on but the here's the thing. So, some of the things that it's missing, um, these gloves. Now, Zach Ertz wears black gloves to catch with, but they always have something on them, some kind mm -hmm. of design. The gloves now that the receivers have actually have like the uh, team's logo in them, very popular. They could have added that. I think they got kind of lazy with that. Especially even in, right here, they have like a really cool like life-like detail. It yeah, just even looks in the like 07, it's popping out of the Yeah, TV. even in the 07 uh, series, it was better. Same with the with the, the cleats, just plain black. And um, then while we're at it, I want to get to my biggest problem with these McFarland uh, figures. This has bugged me for years. I was thinking that with it being 2019, um, that they might have stepped up their game when it comes to this. But and I'll take a, I'll take a closer picture because you're not gonna be able to see with me holding up to the camera. The actual face inside the helmet looks nothing like the player. Mm -hmm. This looks like a random white dude. Like that does not look like Zach Ertz at and all. And this looks like that is does not like, look like Brian it Westbrook. It does not at, at all. all. Uh, I mean, it's just, it just doesn't look, it looks more like LaShawn McCoy. I mean, it, like, again, it looks like they put random, like, black and white guys in the in these things. And uh, it even goes to, to Carson Wentz. It. Like, Wentz, I've got a Wentz. I Same can review thing there. that one because I even looks know what Carson Wentz looks like. like. It, it looks like a person, look at the eyes on that one. Like, seriously? Well, they can't, I'll, I'll take a picture like, of it. Yeah, show. take a picture of it. But, in comparison, what I've done is uh, I'm also an avid collector of wrestling memorabilia. Being a professional wrestler, um, it's just kind of a neat thing for me. So uh, with my Eagle stuff, I have this Ultimate Warrior action figure in, it looks in, the, exactly in, the, the, in the gear wrestling. that he wore um, at the Spectrum uh, back at SummerSlam 1990. So it has a Philly vibe to it. But if you look, and again, this will, I'll be taking with pictures, but if you look at the face... It looks like the Ultimate Warrior. Like this is a Mattel I, figure. Uh, done I a great job. I have a Ronda Rousey action figure. It looks exactly so, like it. it. It literally does. So why McFarlane Toys cannot uh, make a figure with a, a that looks like their guys? It's just lazy. It's really. I lazy. know. Like it's like they're just throwing on stickers. Like so, a kid who decorates Easter eggs who are three years old. But that's just their. Throwing on. That is our unboxing t uh, um, today. I would like. To Zach Ertz, Brian Westbrook. So, Faith, so I'm going to ask you this. I'm No, we've already reviewed them for a long time. What I'm going to ask you right now is $30. That's a lot of money, right? Oh, $30. Yes, so, is. would you buy one of these for $30? Like, if I mean, being as big an Eagles fan as you are, is it I worth the money? I mean, these the are collectibles, but there are a few flaws, like the face. Um, sometimes you can get paint defects. So, and is it, it worth the $30? I yeah. mean... I'm gonna say yes and no at the same time. Like, if you are a real deal collector and you just like want very good details for thirty dollars, I'm not sure. Um, cause the face, um, 
especially like on this one that we just reviewed like I don't know all it right just so really she work. says yes and no which means she's gonna be a politician when she grows up <laughs> anyhow uh, these I guess are cool for they will definitely go with uh, the rest of my collectibles are cool for that thirty dollars I don't know I would um, I wanted to point out another like I said thing that, too. The, the ten dollars that I got for the Westbrook I think was perfect price. That was perfect. Um, maybe fifteen for this one. I this mean, one was actually bought for thirty, but this one I mean, um, I wanted to point out that this one has a bell, and I thought that was really kind of cool how it kind of sticks yeah. out. But that one does not have, uh, like sweating cloth, so that doesn't make sense. This one is kind of awesome. It even has a little like okay. sweating cloth. So she definitely likes the Westbrook over the Ertz, and I'll, I'll agree. Um, it's definitely a little bit more detailed, especially with the grass stains on the pants and things like that. So Even we'll end this at, at that. Um, McFarland Toys, step up your game or lower your price. Yeah. Uh, because I will definitely not be buying another one uh, unless it happens. I would never so, either. I just don't think. I, out of... I would give that like a two or three out of five stars. The Westbrook, that's a four out of five stars. Okay, that's so the Ertz was like a two out of three, yeah, and like the Westbrook was a four, right? You said. Yeah, four out of awesome. five. Awesome. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Professor Wrestler Chris Wilde. And, and this is. I am Faith, aka the biggest um, Eagles fan that is a kid. We'll get with you guys next time we have something to unbox. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, get us some views. Thanks for watching.